going on, Legion? As you're here, like always, you perverts. I know why you're really here. Cammy, Sonia. No, but uh, this is uh, a death battle I think a lot of people wanted to see really bad. Um, the way they draw Cammy, it's just the way Street Fighter has in the past has just made women has been hmm interesting to say the least. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Screw Attack. Love their stuff. Love their content. If, uh, if you want to go... Oh, God, excuse me. If you want to go check them out, link's down below. You can check out their uh, th this video specifically and go check out their channel. Give them a sub. Give them a like. Do all that good stuff because it's worth it. One of the few channels on YouTube that I actually check out. Uh, stuff that's actually, in my opinion, too good for the internet. I mean, it, you can do everything you want on the internet, but it, to say, to at least give it that commendation... This channel and everything they put out is worth being on TV. No joke. Being straight serious. They're a great channel. They do a lot of good stuff. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, let's just get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. Let's hope it's good because it's a 12 minute video. Let's just not ramble, Azrael. Come on. All right. Let's go. I skimmed ahead to see if they had any kind of promotional stuff, too, because... Yet there's always a few seemingly ordinary people brave enough or stupid enough to step into the ring. Like Cammy White, Street Fighter's assassin turned British <laughs> secret agent. And Sonya Blade, the special yeah. general of Mortal Kombat. Sonya Blade, I mean, I, I like Cammy more, but I'm going for Sonya because Mortal Kombat for me is a better game. Better world, better story. I love Mortal Kombat. Huge fan. For most of her life, I will cry. White was a pawn of the evil Shadaloo crime syndicate run by the wannabe dictator M. Bison. I don't know about Bison. Pawn. She was his top bodyguard, so basically a lot more important. Maybe more like one of those horsey pieces. Like a knight? No, Wiz, the horse that moves like an L. Come on, learn your chess. You're supposed to be smart. Not only was she Bison's top bodyguard, but also the leader of his dolls, a group of brainwashed teenage girls trained to be ruthless, <laughs> unstoppable assassins. I thought she was a clone. Her leadership roles come not just from her skills as a killer, but also because she just so happens to be a female clone of Bison himself. Alright, so I thought. That happened. It gets weirder. Aware his psychopower was deteriorating his current body, Bison planned to possess hers. I have a lot of questions. Cammy served Bison blindly okay. until she met the mystical yogi Dawson. Who used his power <laughs> to grant her something she never had. Free will? Willpower and ah. self-awareness. Realizing that Bison is actually the bad guy, Cammy joined the Delta Red British All Special right. Forces and the fight against Shadowloo. With her Shadow from both camps, Cammy is deadly up close with ruthless sweeping attacks, keeping her foes on the defensive. She can rush like a drill with spiral arrow. A move so agile it passes under projectiles. Her hooligan <laughs> approach flips through the air like some sort hooligan. of great spider monkey to lay the smack down <laughs> in a ton of way. Like the fatal leg twister, which is fatal. She also uses her cannon spike and cannon strike to control the flow of battle. Nice. Like most cannons, Cammy's signature attacks have hired... That trot. <laughs> Being a clone of Bison, she does have latent psychopower abilities, a dark energy fueled by evil and hatred. Sure. Oh. I was talking about her EX and super moves. Oh, of course, like the deadly cross stinger assault or the cami quick combination. Get it? Think you see? With which she snaps her opponent's bones not once, not twice, but three times. She's also an expert knight. Three. Agile enough to dodge bullets. And for a 134 pound secret agent Barbie, is pretty damn strong. I mean, she could kick cars to death and stood up after falling out of an airplane. She survived blows from the Barbie. world class boxer Balrog, a fighter so strong he once killed an elephant with a single punch. <laughs> Elephants are known to frequently smash down trees with their skulls, which means they can withstand a force of over 10,000 pounds. That's like getting hit in the face with a truck! Ugh. Unfortunately, despite being a clone of one of the deadliest people on the planet, Cammy isn't a perfect warrior. Her control of psychopower in particular is extremely limited at best, usually only manifesting during times of extreme rage. And many of her moves can leave her vulnerable if misfired. Still, yeah. That was a good show, or a good movie. Fight with Cammy White. She's got legs and she knows how to use them. Damn, what an ass! Ah, I know, I know. Take your 
five dollars. Still worth it. Told you you couldn't go the whole script without mentioning it. Whereas if I could die and come back, it would be as that leotard. Skip <laughs> the trip down memory lane. Tell me who you want me to kill. All right. Yes. As a young girl, Sonia Blade idolized her marine father and enlisted to follow in his footsteps. By the age of 26, she oh God. was a member of a U.S. Special Forces unit in pursuit of the criminal Kano. Which ended up being a lot more trouble than she expected. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> Still a good movie, man. Don't hate it. Joined the defenders of Earth Realm to stop the evil Shao Kahn world domination and succeeded. But most of them died, except for Sonya and Johnny, of course, who married and had a kid. Lucky Johnny, I'd love to settle down with a lady that has such an impressive resume and kicking ass. Sonya has decades of combat experience that's prepared her to do anything. She's fought cyborgs, ninjas, cyborg ninjas. Her Kenpo and Taekwondo training emphasizes speed, agility, and defense. And she shows her mastery by leaping into the air, grabbing foes with her legs, and slamming them down in a backflip faster than the blink of an eye. That gameplay, though. A wind blade, frag grenade, smoke grenade, stun grenade, and a garou wire for silent kills. But my favorite is her high-tech bracelet, which lets her hover in the air and shoots lasers. It even controls a remote drone, complete with a cutting beam, perfect camouflage systems, machine guns, even RPGs. I think I'm in love. With what? The drone? Sonia? Dronia. Uh -huh. I think twice about that though. Most guys wouldn't dare lock lips with a woman who has moves like fire kiss, brush kiss, slice kiss, poison kiss, or the kiss of death. Yeah, plus she's strong enough to rip a guy in half with just her legs. And Jesus I Christ. I want to be in between that. In the early 1900s, <laughs> it was common practice to tie criminals between horses and fold them apart. Except even four horses playing tug of war don't often have the strength to rip people in half. Yet Sonia can do so with ease. Impressive. Almost as impressive as karate chopping a steel anvil in half. It's as ridiculous <sighs> as it looks. Assuming the anvil is made of common steel, it would take over 90,000 pounds per square inch of force to break. To compare, 1969 boxing champion Ernie Shavers delivered the strongest punch in boxing history at 1600 PSI. <laughs> Sonia's punch has over 56 times more power than the hardest hitting boxer ever known. No wonder she was strong enough to take down Scorpion, Sub Zero, Jax, and even Quan Chi, ruler of the Nether Realm. I mean, this is all that's. Of course, throughout decades of military experience. That's janky science. <clears throat> gotten herself and her troops in trouble more than once. And while Everyone broke that anvil. Come on. They're just picking and choosing now. She's not that strong. Still, there's something pretty special about a lady who can rip a guy in half without breaking a sweat. We need a strategic plan of attack. I got one. Combat time. Oh, God, that cartoon. Please, never again. I don't want it. I don't want that cartoon. Either of those cartoons. God, they're so old. It's it's a shit show. It's Kano. Does Kami kill him? She does. They went super ape with this, didn't they? Suspect in custody. Oh god, they gave her the original. Oh. The shit talking is real. Dude, they gave her like the original. Like, that's awesome. Oh my god, it's so it's so eight bitty. I can't see. Oh yes, that was such a cheap move. Why did I just hear Scorpion? 
Uh, a, at any pixelation, I can see a fucking bugged out eye. Oh god, she's probably gonna lose, Sonya. <laughs> oh, the, the psycho power. No. Oh shit. Dude, these fucking like close-ups. Expert knife thrower. <laughs> oh, well, I... <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck, what's going on now? Oh, God. She's going to win. I know it. This is how it always happens. Not as tough as you look. Finish her. Oh, did she really- SHE REALLY WON?! YES! Oh, that would have been so good if they would have did that. Well, that just happened. That was a one-way fight! Sonya's far superior strength, arsenal, tactics, and experience overwhelmed. Oh. Sonya's fought opponents who have led armies and conquered worlds and taken one back to back. Sure, Cammy's done the same, just never against quite such an impressive lineup. Sonya has about 10 years worth of military experience over Cammy, and it's not like she was pushing papers all that time. When she wasn't chasing down war criminals on her there own, she was a longtime leader against multiple interdimensional invasions. Cammy did a lot with Delta Red, huh? but nothing which stacks up to Sonya's resume. And hey, Cammy's durability of an elephant is impressive. But you know what's <laughs> tougher than that? Solid steel. True, and while Cammy was I hate that clip. projectiles, she couldn't keep it up against Sonya's large arsenal attacking from multiple angles at once. Looks like Cammy's All right. only half <laughs> the woman Sonya is. The winner is Sonya Blade. All right, what's next? Let me know. Oh, did we already see it? Tracer versus, uh... Okay, yeah. I thought I didn't have to hear that a fucking again. God damn it! Ah, okay, yeah, I already did the Tracer one compared to... I thought the camo I came after. Okay, so I guess I kind of mixed it up. But fuck, I didn't want to hear that horrible voice acting again from Tracer. It's so bad. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. It was really annoying, though. I had I was having uh, audio issues with my headset during the Sonya Blade... Um, uh, what do you call it? Against the Sonya Blade uh, uh, um, debriefing, I guess we can call it. <laughs> Uh, and I don't know, it's really weird. Everything, like, uh, power surges in my apartment only affect my headset. And it only happens once or twice in a row. But I literally turned my headset off and on, and it kept happening. Which is, of course, the only time that it decides to ever do that. The first time ever was when I'm actually making a video and doing something important. So, that's retarded. Uh, yeah, it was a good video, man. I'm not a big fan of the 8-bit. It's just too pixelated i especially with this one it was so pixelated you couldn't really tell like anything it, who they it was only the colors that let me know who they were of their clothes um and this, the close-ups of pixelation is beyond painful for my eyes other than that it was a good fight i was really surprised that it was so one-sided i god damn it i thought that um you usually that I mean I guess that's why I like screw attack. Usually you have somebody winning so much, then the other person gets a head over, and then that person usually wins. And this way it just went ba 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 black sheep, and they went eh, and then she went no fatality, and then killed her. And that was just kind of different. That was uh, and I'm glad I I've never been a huge fan of Street Fighter games. I've played them. I've liked them. They're okay. Uh, as soon as 4 came out and it was all 
super roid wit rage everybody and then same thing with five i said nope it's horrible garbage game we'll never play it because that art style is just bad it reminds me of like gears of war just even worse um except everybody has a normal size neck except for bison uh other than that the street fighter story i've always liked i've watched i think all the i think i've watched the anime when it was coming out or when i was younger I've watched all the movies, even the new one. They're all really good to watch. But Mortal Kombat just has, like, everything. All the time. It's just awesomeness. It has, you know, it has the combat. That was the stupidest thing I've ever said. Uh, it has, like, the strategic, you know, the Sonya Blade characters. It has mysticism, which is awesome. It has other worlds, which is badass. And it's not always redone in a corny 80s 90s whatever way like street fighter will always be well rooted in the times that it was created in mortal kombat it was one of those shows that um oh, i gotta sneeze it was one of those shows that came out so long ago but they were trying to be forward thinking and change things up and uh I think that's why it can be adapted for all times. All right. Yes, I can mute myself with a push of a button. Um, you're welcome. Uh, but yeah, that audio issue really threw me off. It really made this reaction, in my opinion, very subpar. I don't like the video that we're making right here. Um, because that audio issue just really took me out of the video. It really fucked everything up for me. So I was, it was just weird to like get back into the groove of things. So I think I'm just going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you liked the video, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you can check me out on any video I'm doing next. Once again, my name is Andrew, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Again, as I already said a second ago. If you want to leave any comments, love to see and love to hear those as well. Later, guys.